Okay, we're doing a little video here on Ryan Fox and Rory McIlroy. Ryan Fox is on the left-hand side. Rory is on the right. Now, both these guys average over 315 yards. So uh, Ryan is 315 yards and uh, Rory is 320 yards. So what are we going to talk about is there's many ways to do this in the golf swing. So what we have here is Rory has a weak right hand grip. So see the V is pointing up close to his left ear. And then you look at R Ryan Fox. His grip pointing up to the right shoulder. So they are going to have two very different movements. Now there's no right or wrong. These are both work perfectly for each other. So you look how Rory's elbow is turned out externally, not internally, sorry. And Ryan's is turned the opposite way. So one elbow's pointing, Rory's elbow's pointing that way. Ryan's elbow's pointing pretty much towards the camera. So we'll see the difference now as we go into the backswing. So we've got Ryan's backswing. So he's, you can see he's got a lot more spine tilt than Rory. So look at that compared to Rory pretty straight down. So then it leads into going into the backswing. This is Rory going into the backswing. You can see his right elbow is higher than his left going back. And then you've got Ryan Fox there. The elbow starts to go under. So there's your difference halfway. You can see the difference in those positions. So all of a sudden, Ryan is still maintained. Side bend to the right, Rory straight down like this. So as I said before, there's no right or wrong in this. It's matching the pattern. So the grip will determine which way you move. So there's the top of the backswing for Ryan, and that's Rory. So again, Ryan's got more gap between his left shoulder and his left hip, Rory's is less of a gap. Now this is all determined by the right hand grip. Now as Ryan has a strong right hand grip and tucks the elbow in, that's the motion you'll get. Rory has his elbow out and he'll be more like that. Now coming down is the big difference. See how Rory's elbow is behind the hip? And then Ryan's is in front of the hip and a ton of side bend. Now you've got a lot of people teaching everyone to swing it like Ryan does. But again, you've got the number one golfer in the world does the complete opposite. So there is no right or wrong. It's matching patterns up. Now, Rory has got this pattern matched up beautifully and so has Ryan. So if you change their grips around, they would both struggle. So now Ryan's got a lot of side bend because he's got the stronger right hand grip. He needs to tuck the elbow more to, more to delay the release of the right hip. He's going to be bent over more and the right elbow stays in front of the hip. Now Rory, spine angle, less tilt. Right elbow is behind the hip. There's a different positions in the swing. Look how much side bend Ryan Fox has got here. So. That's all relative to the grip. Now the problem is if you go to a golf coach and he doesn't te test your grip and he's getting you to try and do what Ryan Fox does but you need Rory's grip, you're gonna be in a bit of trouble. So that's why you test a measure. So there's Ryan going through, stays back and behind it. Rory's gonna finish higher, more on the left leg in that way. So, as I keep saying, many ways to do things. So, first thing, checkpoints. Rory, weak right hand grip, right elbow turned out. Ryan, strong right hand grip, elbow tucked in. They give you different things. So these grips will give you different rate of closure through the swing and give you different positions. So there's no right or wrong in the golf swing. It's about matching up patterns. So there you use a breakdown. Now, if you've got any questions, send me a message. Uh, if you're interested in how all that works and how I've come across this stuff, uh, send me a message. And there'll be more videos coming up like this.